all of you this is the third video regarding the 3d viewer in the previous two videos i have covered the basic functions of the 3d viewer and how to use that so in this third video we are going to focus on the option which is present here that is the 3d library so while using the 3d library the basic requirement is that we should have the internet connectivity for using this option so let's start 3d viewer you will find out the by default animated structure which is present on the screen is nothing but b structure then uh, as per our requirement we can make the use of the different options which are present in the 3d library just we have to click on the 3d library you will find out a new window will open in front of you it is having near about uh, 12 different options or 12 different categories or catalog in that again the sub options are available such as uh, you will find out somewhat uh, uh, the latest 3d collections animals and insects building structure science outdoors then uh, you can observe the toys the best of mini craft then cars and vehicle so these are the options which are available in the 3d library we can select anyone suppose i am going to select the cars and vehicle so you will find out again it is having near about uh, 50 plus options in that you can select anyone and you can uh, do the animation for that particular object so i'm going to consider the cars and vehicle in that you will find out again the different options near about 50 plus options are available suppose i'm going to consider any one structure suppose i'm going to consider the sedan car so it will get open you will find out we can rotate that object completely we can observe it through 360 degree angle from top side from bottom side which is uh, the car actually present on the grid structure as per the third option you can observe the grid structure is there we can make the changes in the grid structure or we can hide that grid structure so that we can observe it properly so you can zoom it you can observe the internal structure actually there is nothing in the inner side because it is only uh, aesthetic structure has been created so you can observe it in a different uh, angles as per the options which are available you can change the uh, themes you can change the color combination as per your requirement and you can just go through the animation uh, that quick animation option is available because for few uh, models the animation types are not there which are in continuous loop so for that we have to go to the different category so the by default options which are available with some option you can observe that turntable that complete object will get rotated about the vertical axis the 360 degree rotation will be there then jump and turn means these are nothing but different type of animations and you can uh, uh, create as per the requirement of your task uh, you can create any one structure okay so the we are going to observe the another option which are having the animation types basic categories so that we have to select the last option which is nothing but all animated models click on that and you will find out again sub options are available out of that we can select any one <coughs> suppose we are going to consider any one option that is nothing but shark let's start uh, it will take some time to open it after opening that we will see whether that uh, yes it is get opened now we can observe here it is having the animation type basically three type of categories are there and it is in continu continuous uh, loop or motion so we can select the different uh, animation to animation three you can observe it is actually moving from one position to another position then third option okay in this way you can select any one model and you can just make the changes in the theme you can make the changes in the uh, meshed data that is uh, state sign shading as per the requirement or as a practice you can do uh, you can go with the different options such as the mesh triangle vertices are there uh, uv set is there then you can observe different options are available so with the help of that you can zoom it you can turn it you can observe the complete structure of this model okay then you can use the grid structure so that you can observe it is present at a particular location the platform is there so this is the way to use the 3d library which are having the animation modes or without animation modes as per your requirement you can select suppose one more model that i will try to use uh, rotating jetting you will find out 
it is having the complete animation it is showing the internal components in the, uh, of that particular uh, rotating jet engine we can change the position with the help of pan we can zoom it we can rotate it and we can observe the complete structure how the jet engine is working you can zoom it you can observe each and every part the blade structures are there some are rotating in the clockwise anti clockwise direction the different stages are there first stage second stage third fourth and at the exhaust also you can observe so it is help uh, it will help us to understand the uh, mechanism internal mechanism of the few of the component uh, one more component we will see or one more model that we will observe which is having the category of all animated model suppose we are going to use the breathing hut let's see how it will shows the animation means the working of the hut it takes some time to open okay now after opening that particular uh, breathing hut you can it is showing the actual working but it is not having the different uh, uh, animation modes it is having only one uh, animation so you can observe it you can zoom it you can observe what is the internal mechanism is there so in this way you can select any one component as per your requirement for mini project or for completing the task or uh, as per your requirement you can do that uh, editing work and you can just take the screenshot and you can submit it okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this please click on the like button and please do subscribe to my channel thank you so much